Hello and uh, welcome to uh, Nostalgia. Today's episode is called There Goes My Lip. Don't worry, rock and roll's got it. Today's episode is uh, called uh, Lost Pogs. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't know what pogs are, I guess I'll give you a quick uh, explanation. Uh, basically, it's just this little plastic um, or uh, cardboard, I guess, toys that you pile upon one another. You take a bigger plastic hammer, you hit the top of them, try to flip them, the ones you flip you keep. They were huge. Anyways, uh, I will continue with the story. Uh, Lost Pogs. I was 10 years old, it was the beginning of March break. Uh, so we had two weeks off, and obviously everyone was very excited. Uh, my best friend uh, at the time, Sean, called me. Uh, I will not say his last name, just in case he's uncomfortable with the idea, but uh, anyways, um, I went over to Sean's house and we were, you know, doing what 10 year old boys do, um, you know, just playing hockey video games online, uh, mooning people from the window in his apartment building, and uh, the phone rang. And it was actually uh, this other kid that we knew at the time named uh, Chris LaRosa. I'm fine with saying his name, I assume at this point in his life he's probably locked away in prison. So. Uh, Chris calls, and we were not supposed to hang out with Chris. He had a bad reputation. He got in trouble for stealing at the store, um, bad things with animals that I would never ever get further into. Uh, but anyways, he called and asked us if we wanted to go to the Five Points Mall, which uh, was across the street, had a Zellers. They sold pogs, and he wanted to steal them. So for whatever reason, Sean and me said, yeah, we'll do this. This is excellent. Uh, so we went down and we met him down there, uh, talking about outside. And actually, um, I had some pogs on me. They just come out with these hockey ones. And I was super excited. I had this rare Mario Lemieux one, which was I kept it on me all the time. I didn't want to ever lose it. So we go into the place and um, we're looking around. And I I'd never stolen anything before, so I was terrified. I remember my heart felt like it was trying to tear itself through my chest. And I looked over and I saw Chris and he was opening a package of these pogs and taking them out and shoving them into his pocket. So, me thinking in my head, I'm sure that I was very, very sneaky and stealth about it. Um, I did the same thing. And uh, as we started walking out, we left the store, we got tapped on the shoulder and it was the mall security who had checked us and brought us back into saying that we obviously had uh, stolen the pogs, which none of us argued whatsoever. Uh, they took us into this office and we were in a lot of trouble. The cops came and they ended up emptying our pockets and um, I lost all the ones including my Mario the Mew Pog that I had on me. Uh, I was terrified. I was bawling my eyes out. And they said they were going to call my folks and it tore my heart out. So I, after this experience, never stole again. But I guess karma decided because I wanted to do something so terrible, I lost my Mario Lemieux Pog. So, uh, don't steal.